I wanted to start with the July 25th call between President Trump and President Zelensky. Mr. Morrison, you were on that call, and there was no mention of withholding aid on the call, correct? That is correct, Congresswoman. And there was no quid pro quo, correct? Correct. No bribery? Correct. No extortion? Correct. And Ambassador Volter, Volker, I presume you got a readout of the call, is that correct? A very terse readout, but yes. In this tertiary readout of the call, Ambassador, from the U.S. participants, was there any reference to withholding aid? No, there was not. Any reference to bribery? No, there was not. Any reference to quid pro quo? No, there was not. Any reference to extortion? No, there was not. And I presume you also got feedback from your Ukrainian counterparts as to how the call went. Did they mention the withholding of aid? No, they did not. Did they mention any quid pro quo? No, they did not. And did they mention any bribery? No, they did not. And in fact, the day after the call, you met with President Zelensky. This would be on July 26th. That's correct. And in that meeting, he made no mention of quid pro quo. No. He made no mention of withholding the aid. No. He made no mention of bribery. No. So the fact is the Ukrainians were not even aware of this hold on aid. Is that correct? That's correct. And in the coming weeks, you were in touch with Ukrainians as part of your official duties. And this included talking to Ukrainians over the phone, in person, on text. And the Ukrainians never brought up an investigation into the Bidens. Is that correct? That's correct. They never brought up the withholding of the aid. That's correct. They never brought up quid pro quo or bribery. Uh, let me bring up the aid. They did bring that up after the political article appeared on the I'm going to get to that. But until the political article, then, no. they did not bring it up. And you said in your closed door deposition, quote, it never came up in conversation with them. And I believe they had trust in me that they would have asked if that was really what they were worried about. That's is that correct. correct? That is correct. And as you pointed out, the Ukrainians never even knew their foreign aid was on pause until the article was published in Politico in August. That's correct. So they didn't know during the call. That's correct. And in fact, you had to correct Chairman Schiff on this timeline in the closed door deposition. The chairman of this committee asked you, quote, when they became aware that military assistance was being withheld for a reason you couldn't explain, no one could explain, weren't they under even greater pressure to give the president what he asked for on the call? And you answered, Ambassador Volker, quote, to my knowledge, the news about a hold on security assistance did not get into Ukrainian government circles as indicated to me by the current foreign minister, then diplomatic advisor, until the end of August. Is that your testimony? Yes, it is. And Chairman Schiff also got the facts wrong again when he asked you this, quote, at the point they learned their aid was paused, wouldn't, they give them, wouldn't that give them added urgency to meet the president's request on the Bidens? And you answered, Ambassador Volker, quote, I think the Ukrainians felt like they are going in the right direction, and they had not done anything. They had not done anything on an investigation, end quote. Isn't it the case, Ambassador Volker, at one point, Chairman Schiff said to you, when you were truthfully testifying, quote, Ambassador, you're making this much more complicated than it has to be, end quote. It's page 127 from the deposition, is that correct? I remember that. But the truth is, the facts are indeed not complicated. And I'm going to close out with two questions for the both of you. Did Ukraine open investigation into the Bidens, Mr. Morrison? Not to my knowledge, ma'am. Ambassador Volker? Uh, not to my knowledge, either. Did either of you ever have any evidence of quid pro quo, <laughs> Mr. Morrison? No, ma'am. Ambassador uh, Volker? I did not. Any evidence of bribery? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Any evidence of treason? No, ma'am. No evidence of treason. With that, I yield back.